Hi, everyone. A survey of 200 people are included with 90 females. It is found that 60 people smoked, 40 of whom are male. So we got to use the table to fill out the information and then calculate some probabilities. So let's do that first. So we have a total survey of 200. Um, 90 were female, right? So 90 goes here. Um, six found out 60 people smoked, so that goes here. 40 who were male, so 40 goes here. So now when you're adding across, this has to be 20. You're adding horizontal, uh, vertically, that's 70. Uh, this has to be 110. Um, this is going to have to be 140. And this has to be 70 because you're adding your totals here. So now that we have that filled out, we want to find the probability that it's a female non-smoker. So total female um, non-smoker is 70. So this is I here, BI. And that's going to be 70 out of 200. So I just picked up this number here. All right. A male given... Um, that he was a non-smoker. So the given part is um, non-smoker. So total non-smokers is um, 140. And the male is 70. You have to go in this line here. So basically 50%. You can reduce these if you want. So this would reduce to 7 twentieths, and this would reduce to uh, 1 half. All right. Now for C, if two people were selected at random, we have to calculate that both of them are female non-smokers. We already calculated the first one, which was 7 uh, twentieths. So once the first one's chosen, the next one would be 6 out of 19. So whatever that is, that's going to be uh, 42. What's 20 times 19? So that would be 42 divided by 380. And then let's calculate the uh, C double I. One is a smoker and the other is a non-smoker. So for that one, I did uh, smokers is 60 out of 200. Times, and then the other's a non-smoker. The non-smoker's 140, but now that's only at, out of 199. Because once uh, someone is chosen, then you um, can do that. Now I'm going to reduce this one before I put it in the calculator. Just makes it easier. Six, you don't have to. You can just leave it like that. Like we could reduce this, but you don't have to. So this would be three-tenths times 140 divided by 199. Just makes it a little easier. Uh, three times 140 is 420. And then for the bottom, you just write 1,990. And that will be your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.